Kumar, how bad was the night for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there was a cloud burst at around 2:30. That's all uh, we know. After that, it was raining heavily. I thought I'm going to die. I couldn't breathe. My whole heart was constricted. Uh, but Sadhguru came. He calmed me down. He gave me some oxygen. I was also very sad. I mean, whether I'll be able to make it or not, I have come from so far. I'm facing diarrhea. Maybe because of bad water and food. That's not because of high altitude knowing anything about it. <laughs> In all my days, I've never been this high. <laughs> and nothing's happened to you. Um, I feel a little short of breath. Uh, I'm having headaches since yesterday. When we got here and I uh, had a little bit of diarrhea this morning, which I've, at that part is, is better now. I feel it a little bit, uh, but I'm used to such a high and uh, different weather condition. But now I'm okay. You just have to eat a little bit and we're okay. Are you getting a lot of people uh, coming to you just for little moral support? and no. and? They're all meditators. They don't need moral support. They're quite fine. What has happened to your conversation with the rain gods? Right now I'm uh, having a conversation with the Puris. <laughs> In both ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was a miserable night. We thought he was having congestive heart failure. But I was feeling so low, the lowest of my life, because I'm sorry. And now will you just head back? Yeah, because all the time he was telling me, Sadhguru will take care of me, don't worry, don't worry. But being a woman, I have my worry about my husband. I knew that. And <coughs> no, don't talk. <coughs> no, no, don't talk, sir. I just have to come down. Because the food starts walking. Again, uh, Altitude started taking its toll on the Yatris.